One of my favorite episodes to put together is our Christmas gift ideas episode. I really enjoy showing you some of the new products. I've got some good new ones to show you today. Let's get started. I want to start by talking about our new merch provider. Yeah, we've got new merch this year. Some of it looks just the same as last year, just a little bit better quality, I think. Um, it's actually a small company, a husband and wife team out of Wyoming. We're pretty excited about it. They're doing the fulfillment. It's still on our website, tractortimewithtim.com slash shop. But I'm kind of burying the lead here. Let me step back just a little bit. We partner with at least one brand that's very protective of their brand. They're worried about minute details, about people misusing the brand, et cetera, et cetera. So we're kind of sensitive to that. And, and when it came to our brand, we're trying to figure out, is this something we should be concerned about? Is it something we really, you know, just how should we handle it? Along those lines, we've had customer requests for it not to say tractor time with Tim. They wanted to say tractor time with something else. Tractor time with grandpa, tractor time with papa, tractor time with... Christy. I wonder who asked for that one. So we decided we're not going to let our brand get in the way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's somewhat important to us, but this whole YouTube journey we've been on has just been more for fun and more for enjoyment, getting to know you guys and sharing some of the fun with you. So this merch provider is capable and willing to do custom names here. So you go to tractortimewithtim.com slash shop, and when you select these items, they usually start with custom name, custom name shirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, uh, mugs, a lot of different items. They'll say custom name. Once you get into configuring the details as, you know, like the color that you want, the size you want, you will see a, a, an entry field where you can put in the name you want used. I'll show you some examples here. Yeah, you can see the different names that, that we've kind of thrown together here on some of the prototypes. But I think this is going to be a lot of fun for you. You might get some for the grandchildren, you know, that say tractor time with grandpa or tractor time with papa. You've got a lot of flexibility on this. One thing I will say is that all of these are reviewed and done by a human by hand. So uh, don't get too crazy. If it's uh, offensive in any way, we'll get back to you or we'll just flat out reject it because that's, that's not what's going to happen here. But we do want to make it available to you to have some fun with the brand and, ha and have some fun with your own family. I just, I, I think that's, that's what we're all about is having fun with our tractors and accessories. Okay. Lube shuttle, you've seen it before. The special grease gun uses different tubes, right? I've shown you how this works before. Just really quick, I'll show you again. The tube itself, well, the steel piece has nothing to do with it. The tube itself actually screws in to the gun, right? It's removable, even half a tube. You can change styles of grease, whatever you want. They've got a special right now, Tractor Time with Tim only special, uh, I believe. If you purchase this electric grease gun, Okay, they've got, they've got manual versions as well, both the pistol grip as well as the long handle. But if you purchase the electric one, you get a free case of their MOS2 grease. Now that's one of my favorites. It's this dark colored grease because it's got molly in it, I believe. Not a grease expert. Go back and watch some of our other uh, grease episodes for that. The only way you can get that special is to click on the link in the description. Okay, usually we don't do that, but that's the only way you can get to that special. It was the, their website coordinator had trouble configuring it. So the link in the description is the only way you can get this free case of grease with the purchase of your lube shuttle electric gun. Now I said on this topic that my brother and my nephew, Tom and Randall, would be the hardest converts that I would have to try to work on on the lube shuttle gun. And the reason is because they use a lot of grease, and I was concerned that they would not be the right customer, given that these tubes of grease are more expensive than the, the standard tubes that you can buy on the market. But what they found is they can get a separate five-gallon grease container. They, they use Schaefer grease. 
Uh, you could use any brand grease you want. And there's a pump that will fill these, these tubes. And they love this gun right here. They use this exact one with this long whip hose here. They love it because it's so lightweight compared to their Milwaukee or DeWalt electric guns. Okay, the other item is a lock and lube. Um, I do not recommend the uh, Lube Shuttle brand, uh, I can't even remember what the, Safe Lock, I believe is what it's called. Rather, I recommend the lock and lube. I don't know if it's there yet, but Lube Shuttle will soon have the lock and lube on their own website. Until then, you can get it from my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash track your time with Tim. It comes with a little adapter to adapt between metric and SAE. If you buy it from my Amazon store, you need to get that adapter. If you buy it directly from Lube Shuttle, they will have all that included so that it'll screw right on. I recommend you buying Lube Shuttle products directly from the website, either through the link for that special or use coupon code TTWT for a 5% discount. That's gonna be cheaper than Amazon and Amazon charges like 30% to the vendor to, to sell through that. So uh, it's just a lot better approach for everyone involved if you can buy it directly from the website. Of course, if it's cheaper to you, then still consider Amazon. Even then, you can go through our Amazon store. We'll have links there. Long-term partner, Edge Tamer. We've had these Edge Tamers for a long time. Well, not exactly these Edge Tamers. They're, they're all new. These are cast. The others were welded. That's what we've always had before. Well, the cast version allows for a little more strength in certain areas. It's a little more cost effective for them to make them and therefore they haven't had to raise the price this year, at least as much. I mean, prices are crazy this year, aren't they? There's another new thing about the edge tamers. Check this out. A poly shoe that goes right on there. Well, here's one that's already put on, right? So it's got that, that poly shoe. If you're concerned about scraping your brand new driveway, then this is what you need. Truth be told, I've seen no issue with this, with the, the steel. It, it, it doesn't really seem to cause any damage. There's something about, you know, just having the snow there that it, it seems to keep from scraping. But if you're concerned about that, go ahead and add this poly edge. Uh, another advantage to the poly edge is it makes the whole edge tamer about an inch wider. So you can buy the three inch model and essentially get the four inch width of the four inch edge tamer model. I've only heard a couple of complaints about these edge tamers. And each time that I've heard a complaint, they've said, well, it still gouges in. I still have problems with it gouging. I recommend getting three of them. Put one on each end of your bucket, one in the middle. And when I started putting the one in the middle, I had no more gouging issues because what was happening was is that I would find a, an area that had the hump in the middle of my blade. And by adding the middle one, it, it lifts that up so it doesn't happen. The poly pieces are available in black or white. I guess whichever color you want. You can't see them when you're pushing snow anyway, so what does it really matter? They're always buried in the snow, which is good. Uh, this is a nice addition to your tractor for snow removal. Very cost-effective way to make your loader a reasonable snow removal tool. Not perfect, of course, but it's also not like five or $6,000 like a snowblower. So, you know, you've got all these variety of solutions for snow removal, and this is a very cost-effective one. Edgetamer.com, use code TTWT for a 5% discount. I like these new cast and the new poly skid shoes. These are really nice. Hey, I just found out about Isotune's Black Friday sale this year. They've marked down prices across their site. Some models are 30% off. And the good news is that coupon code TTWT will take an additional 10% off. So our favorite models, Link 2.0, Extra 2.0, the Aware models, the free models, all of them are discounted. Go check it out. This sale ends next Wednesday, November 30th. This is quite unique. This is called the Loader Dolly. Okay, it's from the folks at Deck Dolly. In fact, that's where you get it, deckdolly.com. Again, use code TTWT for 5% off. I love saying that. But yeah, so you put this, these two, under the front of your 120R non-self-leveling loader. And then you put this 
under the crossbar and that way when you unhook the loader you can slide it around easily. This is an impressive, simple kit to make your loader move around very nicely. I, I've been wanting something like this for a long time. I've tried to use furniture dollies that most often the furniture dollies just don't have quite strong enough wheels. They just don't last over time. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, these will last over time. And I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the design. You, you put this over the silver bar on the loader and strap it right around and yeah, it, uh, it works great. For now, to my knowledge, it's only the 120R loader and only the non-self-leveling version that can use this kit. The crossbar is higher on the MSL, the mechanical self-leveling loader, so these same uh, front wheels here don't fit. They don't, they don't lock in a, 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 on that particular model, so we'll continue to work on that. Now I mentioned the deck dolly when talking about the loader dolly. The deck dolly is a great way to store your mower. You've seen that in previous episodes. You can just hook it right onto your mower and then you pick it up and it's, it's like any dolly that you've seen. It's a great way to store your mower. One of two ways that I recommend. The second way are the deck stands from mudscustoms.com. Again, coupon code TTWT. I recommend that the deck stands be used in combination with the load and go. Now the load and go are available, you can either get them new with your tractor and with your mower, or you can buy them at greenpartsstore.com, again, code TTWT for free shipping there. The reason I recommend them together with uh, the deck stands is that it makes it a lot easier to get the deck stands on. You use the load and go to pick up the deck, and then you can just easily put the stands on. This approach costs a little bit more than the deck dolly, but the best part is there's no lifting whatsoever. The deck dolly makes the job a lot easier, but you still have to get those handles and, and lift it up. So if you're getting to a certain age, you may not want that lift. Also, the 72 inch deck is a good bit heavier than the 60 inch deck on the 1025R. So if, if you're using that six foot deck, this might be the better option for you. But let's talk about the details of this improved deck stand set by Muds Customs. What they've found is that these mowers are not consistent, even among the same deck. And I'm not sure I fully understand. There's some rumors that they may be sourcing some of the parts in different places, and so there may not be total consistency. What we're seeing is that the angle of these gauge wheel holders appears to be a bit different on different mowers. MUDS makes a, a fixed model that will work and will work well on almost all decks, but it doesn't work perfectly on every single one. So what he's done here is this is a, a flexible deck stand. So it's got a slot here. It's bolted to hold it. So once you get it put into your deck, you tighten that up and you'll always have the right angle so that, so that your, your deck stand is positioned appropriately, right? And then this one has a bar all the way across the middle and holds those two ends of the deck stands together. So it's built more sturdy. It's got larger caster wheels. It's a little bit more expensive because of that. But uh, I think this improved deck stand is worth a look. Now, when dealing with muds, there's a couple of issues. One is um, Derek Mutterman does all the work himself. So sometimes he gets behind. Sometimes there's a long waiting list for product. The other difficult aspect is that sometimes ordering is not even available. Derek tends to turn off the order button when the, when the queue gets a little bit too deep, so it's hard to even get in line. I'd love to see some of that changed, but in the meantime, these are great products. The quality of the product is amazing. So if you can't order it today, just keep checking back on mudscustoms.com and you will eventually be able to order these products as he, he builds them a batch at a time. I saw just the other day he had sent out two pallets full of the deck stands. So be patient, understand that it's a small family operation, probably just like Tractor Time with Tim or maybe your small business. I think a hydraulic top link is a really good gift idea. This one I introduced recently. Yeah, I like this one. I, 
The one that I previously showed on the channel, I, I never was really happy with it uh, for, for a few reasons, but the biggest reason is the lack of this check valve. With this check valve, you're not gonna have it leaking down over time. So you're not gonna see your, your top link just get longer and longer. In other words, the back of your mower or whatever keep drifting down and then you have to pick it back up and then it drifts down again and then you pick it back up. You're not gonna have that with this top link. The check valve makes sure that the top link does not move unless you apply force to it with the lever. You're just not gonna have any issue with it at all. This is available at agristoreusa.com. It's very inexpensive given what we're dealing with here. This is not Chinese product. This is Italian made. Um, all of it's made in Italy. Okay, so to my knowledge, none of it comes from China. This is quality product. Right now, it's priced at $225, and that's before your TTWT discount, which, yeah, you do get TTWT. The threads on this are a little bit unique. They are not NPT, which I thought meant national pipe thread, but some other people have argued with me on that. So, but anyway, these are not NPT. They're another thread type. If you don't order the hose kit, they will provide adapters from this thread type, which may be BSPP, I'm not sure, to NPT. Details are on the website there, but that kind of leads me to my next point. I just recommend you buying the hoses directly from AgriStore USA, because they're gonna be what you need. These will have half inch male ISO A fittings. Now they say, do you want ball or valve fittings? I've never heard the term valve fittings. I've usually heard the term poppet. So these are poppet. That's what I choose. I really don't think it matters. Some people say it does matter whether you choose poppet or valve, but these poppets work very well. So that's, that's what I would recommend. Select valve for your, for your hose type. On the other end, uh, one of them is what they call a banjo fitting, right? I guess technically it looks like a banjo. Well, it'd be pretty tiny, wouldn't it? But anyway, that, allows one hose to overlay the other one. Now there's a lot of options with this thing as far as how to mount it to your tractor. It's a very tight space right there with your tractor, especially when you add two more stiff hoses to it. You always want this end of the cylinder at the bottom because that's the strongest end. But you can move this. You can, you can loosen these two and flip the whole thing around to move the check valve up. You can also loosen these two and turn the check valve sideways either way. So you've got a lot of flexibility. You can put it upside down. That's what I did on my 3046R. It seemed to work best totally upside down. A lot of choices here. And yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It's cost effective. AgristoreUSA.com. Use code TTWT. Hydrosplus.com. Yeah, that's the logo here. Um, the logo's not ubiquitous yet. Maybe I need to wear this around more often so people will understand. But anyway, this is a cool product from hydrosplus.com. This is for the geek tractor operator, I think. This is, it's a little bit primitive now and still requires some mental calibration, I would say. This is an inline oil pressure gauge that you put on your loader. So you mount this, you, you know where that hole is up on your loader. Right? We put handles in them from Muds Customs and bolt-on hooks. Um, we've shown you those in, in prior episodes. But in this case, you can put this uh, pressure gauge here, and it'll essentially tell you, in fact, it does tell you, you just have to do some translation in your head. It tells you how much you're lifting, right? So the amount of pressure that it takes to lift a load directly correlates to the weight you are lifting. You can do this calibration yourself if you have a known weight. You know, you could put three or 400 pounds of weights in your loaders and, and you could see what the pressure is when you try to lift and lower that weight. Over time, Hydros Plus is gonna enhance this. They're actually gonna make this digital and they're going to allow some calibration, maybe even calibration by tractor. They see this being enhanced to become more and more direct reading of the weights, right? And if you purchase this from hydrosplus.com, again with code TTWT, 
he will allow you some of your purchase price back. I'm not sure how much, but he's very committed to early owners and providing upgrades for them going forward. So if you get involved with Hydros Plus, he will stick with you over time. Now, what's really going on here? Well, he uses this cash that he gets from this to invest in further product, right? So th that's why he's willing to work with you in the long run. He feels like you're an investor in his company just by buying his products. So any of the hydrosplus.com products, if you buy it and he has an upgrade, he'll take care of you. And it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories about that. And that's exactly the kind of partner that we want to deal with. Okay, I'm sure I've got more items. Who knows? Maybe I'll even have a second episode this year. But this is enough to get you started. Hopefully you can find something for that tractor lover in your life. Maybe give a hint to the finance committee. Say, hey, this is what I need. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins.